Let's look at the Dustless Blaster's operating system so we can get an idea of how it works and how to maintain it. The operating system is what starts and stops your machine. It consists of the dead man, which you would attach to your blast hose near the nozzle, the control box, and the pinch valve. For this demonstration, I've removed the safety enclosure so that you can see what's going on. This is the pinch valve, and its job is to clamp down on the pinch hose just like it's doing now. This is what stops the machine from blasting, and by default, it will always be clamped. When you depress the dead man, the control box reroutes pressure from the pinch valve to the vibrator. This allows the pinch valve to unclamp from the pinch hose, which allows blasting to begin. Now it's very important for me to mention that this can only be safely demonstrated because the machine is not under pressure. Our air inlet is closed and our blowdown is open. If the machine were pressurized right now, it would be blasting toward the camera and I could get hurt, or worse, fired. You should always have a blast hose connected to the pinch hose before starting your compressor. The great thing about this operating system is that this is the only part that will need replacement. Every abrasive blaster is going to have some sort of wear items. This is designed to be an inexpensive and easy to replace wear item. There are no expensive proprietary parts that you would be forced to buy from us. Instead, there's just an 18 inch section of blast hose. Your machine will come with three extras because hey, a man can never have too many hose, right? Pinch hose. After that, you can buy additional replacements locally or from us for about $10, depending on which machine you have. We recommend rotating the pinch hose regularly to extend the life of the hose. Each time you rotate it, make sure to visually inspect it carefully and replace it at the first signs of wear. MMLJ will not be held responsible for damages or injuries occurring as the result of a broken pinch hose. Each hose should last between 40 to 80 blasting hours depending on how you use the machine. For example, if you start and stop the machine more than normal, or if you're using the machine dry like a typical sandblaster, it'll wear out faster. Another way to extend the life of the hose is to bleed the pressure out of this pinch valve when the machine is not in use. Make sure to never press that button when the machine is under pressure. So here's how to rotate your pinch hose. Make sure the machine is not under pressure by shutting off or disconnecting the compressor. Close the air inlet valve and open the blowdown valve to make sure any remaining pressure gets relieved. You need to relieve the pressure in the pinch valve. You can do this by pressing the button on the top. Never press this button when the machine is pressurized. You'll need to push the pinch valve up high enough to allow the hose to come out. Be sure to keep the button depressed while you do this or it won't move. Now remove the safety pin, uncouple the pinch hose, and pull it out. Inspect it thoroughly for any signs of wear. If it still looks good, turn it around, reinsert it, and recouple it, replacing the safety pin. If you find that the pinch hose is worn, you'll need to replace it. Here's how. Lock the hose in a vise firmly. Remove the four screws from the brass coupling using a drill or Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure to keep the screws. Unscrew the brass coupling. If it's too hard, use something like a wrench or a flat piece of metal for more leverage. Remove it and set it aside. Repeat the process to remove the other coupling. Discard the old hose. Now lock the new hose in the vise, making sure that about four inches are sticking out. Wrap the protruding hose with several layers of friction tape if you have any. Screw the brass coupling down onto the new hose until it won't turn anymore. Wrap the screws you saved with Teflon tape and drive them in with a drill or screwdriver. Repeat this process on the other side of the hose to attach the other coupling. Now you can put the hose back on the machine, recouple it, and replace the safety pin. So that's it. That's how to rotate and replace your pinch hose. Sorry this video wasn't longer, but there's just not that much to it. Our machines are designed to be simple, user-friendly, and easy to maintain. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, and have a great day.